Hey, Tipman stuff. That'll be your standard. That what goes in your buffer to uh, go in that way. That's what it actually moves. That gives you your blowback. Even though it fires forward, you'll notice that with Tipman, it doesn't really give you a recoil as in backwards. It'll give you a recoil on forward because this is light. Focus. This is a heavy bolt. Uh, I think it's classed as a motherfucking recoil bolt. And it has a coat. I'm no joking. It'll knock your FPS up epic style. And it'll give you more forward recoil. Because obviously it's a lot heavier. You can buy these offline if you want. Next time I see you, I can give you a shot. But yet again, it means tampering with your tipman and getting a re reduced gear flow depending on bore type for your barrel this is a reduced gear flow nozzle it's got a kind of tiny wee hole so that actually goes into the nozzle what's that saying your cylinder and that's your FPS screw goes onto that instead of actually using the FPS screw for reducing your FPS use that instead means it's a constant airflow. You can get a can't mind what it's called, but it goes in at the back. That will sit into your airflow. You've got a something else that goes in. Can't mind I'll hate to find what it's called. It can actually save you some air so you don't run use as much air but you'll still use a lot of air. Big dive bottle tank. Three hundred bar uh, well, that says it's 4,350 psi, but that's uh, an actual dive bottle tank. So get off the dive bottle shop. Uh, I'm coming to guess it's about 175 for the bottle. Last year five years, and I've got a paintball regulator filler top. Gives you the bars and that there. That's fill whip. That bitch just screws in there. Then you hate to put it tight. And I'll say paintball fitting, because that's your paint bottom bottle you'll get. See yeah, again, five year test, 200 bar, 3000 psi. You're not daft. That's where it'll fit on. Just a, a quick coupling. I know you days. Open your valve as you would if you're actually diving. Watch your gauge. This is a 3000 bottle, so obviously I'll only fill it up to the three. Job's done. I normally top it up after every game. I have used the whole bottle. Don't get me wrong, it's epically fun. Use a whole bottle in one game. Good tip, man. Full auto. Big smiles in your face. And now, what can actually happen to you to be? Let me take this out. Give me a sound. Yeah. Right. That is what we class as a TDC top, top dead centre. Or the drop sand. See how you hold there? That's where your actual pop up screw goes on to. Holds it in so it doesn't slip up and down. And that's your adjuster there. It's more a flat hop. Yeah, that's really good. That's just a, a cheap £5 one you can get off the Boys Wood Natural Tipman page. I've lent it out before. I don't think you can actually see this in the video, but right there. It's actually cracked. Right there. Just see that and no more. Oh, I can. See it? That's where it's cracked. I actually got mine sent away and got fixed by the people I actually bought off me because that actual pins will go in here at the bottom. If you actually go through the tipman page, 
you'll see a lot it actually happens because it's basically well, it's shit metal basically it'll crack at the bottom so once you actually get your gun running fine try if possible not to take it off and on and off if you do very gently make sure it doesn't hit the pin put it in line it up put it on obviously cable tie if you've got a tournament lock job done hey that's my original tip man highlighted paint pen get one that way you can do your safety and all your tipman bits register your tipman on the actual tipman's owner club go on sign up sign in that way you're actually registered you'll notice i'm on it if you put in my serial number it'll come up squinty only tipman to be produced by a squint serial number see that only one to be produced one of a kind and I've actually got two of a kind now because I've got a twint, a squint tipman serial number and I have the pre replacement that's a ghost no serial number so it can't be traced basically if you put it in the register your tipman gets nicked put the serial number on the tipman page everybody who has a tipman it's some like 4,000 people if not more on the tipman page now goes goes missing, put it down, tipman missing, yada 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 nobody can buy it because basically it's useless now because it would come up class of stone not much really to say about it, basically plug and play and have epic fun with them, they are good guns once you get nailed in, same as any other gun leave it time, leave it money, have fun, that's what it's all about ciao